Our hero in sobriety is Jason Williams, a former NBA All-Star who conquered tragedy and addiction with a passion for helping others. Hi, I'm Jason Williams, former NBA All-Star. Mike Chemetsky, not an All-Star. <laughs> All right, we're both passionate about rebound and sobriety. Let's go. Well, I'm passionate about sobriety. I'm passionate about helping people, but I'm more passionate about my routine. I go to bed at 8.30. Um, I wake up at 3.25, I have no alarm clock. Uh, passion wakes me up every morning. And the first thing I do when I get to our farm, which is a farm here, um, is I let the chickens out. And then we feed the chickens. And guess what the chickens eat? Dry worms. Guess what the fish eat? Cat food. Go figure. So we feed these guys up. They love to scratch. So you want to throw them out over here. We got four hands. No roosters, and you might be asking, why no rooster? Because if you have rooster, then you get more chickens. I am so passionate about getting here every morning and sticking to my routine and knowing that somebody's depending on me. It might not just be my teammates or my staff, it's my animals. This is uh, Jordan. And that is Brady, Michael Jordan, Tom Brady. Get, get it? Greatest of all time, goats. So when people can depend on me now, now that I'm sober, I'm living straight and narrow, that gives me peace. I wish when I was playing basketball that I knew more about sobriety. Um, I didn't know what treatment was. I never knew treatment you can go away somewhere. And maybe in my community, the African-American community, we're uneducated and unaware that you can go to treatment because most of the time when I went to treatment, there was only one or two people of color in there. So we have to take advantage of saying, hey, I need help and going to get it. So uh, those are one of the things I'm passionate about also is about educating people and releasing the stigma of this. And what we do here at Rebound that makes us different is that every Sunday after church, we go into the community and we feed the homeless. The less advantage, I should say. Uh, we hang out there, we let people know, um, hey man, we're struggling too. Uh, maybe not in the same way, but we can help each other. These are some of the projects we've created here with the alumni. We're always trying to keep the property on the farm looking pretty good. Uh, we built these columns here. I'm a brick mason by trade. You know, me and my dad built our home. So we had to build our flowers and our herbs up high so that the goats can't get to them. And this is all built by the alumni and us, you know? So you see how far it goes down. There's over 600 feet of fence. And uh, we did it all ourselves and it kept us occupied and we were productively busy, which is a different from just being busy. And the other thing I wanted to touch upon, and you know we do all these different outdoor adventure therapies and that's to take you out your comfort zone. But we also eat out every day. So we go to restaurants. Um, we don't put you in a bubble for 30 days and then when you walk out, the first thing you smell a beer at the airport and you relapse. We come back here and our life coaches process everything in our groups and our classes. So I'm just so proud just to be a part of it and through the grace of God, helping to save people's lives, including my own. I wanna thank Jane Weedland for coming on the show today. I hope what we discovered offers you and your loved ones hope, insight, and courage. Find out more about Dr. G Engaging Minds by visiting our website and social media.